Welcome, world, to Talk Show Divas of Atlanta. We're back, new and improved. I'm your co host, Diva Alexis. No, no, technical difficulties. We got it. We got it. <laughs> <laughs> this is live, y'all. Yeah, live, so. I'm okay. just saying. I'm your co host, D Alexis. We're back, guys. We're back. And I'm D Alexis, and my beautiful co host here is, Thank let me reintroduce you to the beautiful K Renee. Hello. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. What's up, <laughs> child? Okay. Okay, and we have. Dana Dane. Dana Dane, Diva Dana. Just real quick though, technical, because I'm only seeing our logo. I do not see our faces. So I just want to make sure we don't do a whole show with just the logo. Okay. So, ladies, what's been going on? It's there we go. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <We're live. laughs> okay, ladies. Okay, what's been going on? Well, it's been four years, so you know, hey, we getting into the groove, right? Yeah, it's, it's gonna be all right. It's gonna we be good. good. We, yeah, we revamp, we good. and we we're ready for you guys. Yeah, whatever y'all want us to do or ask or just 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 we're here for you. So, yes. what's been going on, Dana? Oh, me, I'm first. Okay, yes, <laughs> you're first. Because yes, um, what's been going on the last you know, we COVID four hit. years, right? Yeah, so four years. On. So really, it's only three because 2020 don't count for nobody. That's true. <laughs> um, but literally, what I've been doing a lot of acting. Um, once everything opened back up, so I just wanted to plug a couple of things. You know, I actually had a co-starring role on Queens on ABC. Yay! It was the first time I was on a big three network, ABC. I played a uh, Notori Naughton's lawyer, her attorney. Okay. Um, okay. I was also um, in a short that we ended up doing two parts to because it won over 100 awards um, right. called Voicemail. Yes, so there's know. Voicemail 1, Voicemail 2, and right now that's playing on national TV. Absolutely. Um, and again, it's won over 100 awards. Um, I was one Yay. of the main characters, Nikki. And then oh last God. but not least, right now on Tubi TV, you can check out the uh, show called Child Support. Um, it's going to be a sitcom. We're shopping it right now. But um, I play a very interesting character on child support oh, so that's on 2B TV so that's what I've been up to getting my acting on you know trying to just you know get out there I've been like a lot of years I've been chasing this thing hey, now y'all you got it girl you got it you got it Dana Thank got you. it yeah well, Dana I'm trying Dana. 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 all right all right okay K okay, Renee what you been doing honey oh my goodness what have I been doing you look resting. Beautiful. Beautiful. Fabulous. Thank you, honey. Yeah. You oh, too. Y'all too. <laughs> no, seriously. How in four years we all got better looking? I'm just saying. I'm well, just saying. you know, you know what they say. <laughs> we age backwards. Okay, thank that's you. That's true. We're we Benjamin do. Button, huh? Yeah. Okay, thanks. Okay. What you no, been up seriously. To, like? Just just resting, working. Mm -hmm. Um I haven't been modeling lately, okay. but I'm still here. She's still gorgeous. Yes, thank you very much. <laughs> um, but resting and uh, revitalization. Absolutely. Reintroducing myself to the world. Mm -hmm. uh, not diva yet, but it's coming. You know, I'm still the diva over here. Of okay. Course. Hello, Always. somebody. But I'm right. so happy to be here. Okay. So happy to be here with my beautiful co host. I yes. love you guys. I, love I you can't too. believe we're back together after four years a lot has happened yes in my life with losing folks uh death and all that not COVID related but mm -hmm. um just the lifetime you know life general you know the life circle yes. is what I'm trying right. to say so yes. um I guess I'm really healing okay and and you know right. when you're healing uh you're not really out right. like yeah. that right. so yeah. so i'm taking care of me right okay and that's yeah. like that's the most thing. important I'm taking thing care of me. i mean yes Oof. definitely and i feel good about it Yay. So. but that's i'm happy right. to be here that's right. and this is a part of my therapeutic process yeah. ladies okay so we're gonna get it we're going yeah. we're hello it. hello we want to know what diva d alexis has been oh, up to yes. before, but before yes. hello to april wilkerson and hassani bryson thank you so much for watching thank d you alexis let's hear it baby oh well, the yes. last four years or three years or whatever i've just been doing the same thing well when COVID hit ladies I sat back and looked and just did an inventory of life. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So uh, I had COVID twice. Oh, so wow. yeah, I was in the hospital. So it hit me. Oh, Y'all didn't gosh, know that. Yeah. No. And actually, yeah, I had COVID twice. And um, oh my goodness. Um, but oh, I got on COVID and same Amen. thing. I I still travel. 
Of course evil you did. Was going on. Of course I you did. The traveling, so traveling diva. As a matter of fact, I just got back from Mexico. All right, right Mexico. Here. What yeah. part? Oh, Cancun. Okay. Right Cancun. Oh. Okay. Cancun. Okay. Okay. So, oh. Yes. Oh, I want to go there. That's on Ew. my list. That's on our list. Okay. Okay. Oh, diva. okay. Like diva's that. Diva's from Tulum. Okay. I like that. <laughs> but other than that, I just been taking care of me and taking mm. care of my daughter, my family, and just 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 taking care of me. Just you look good too. I'm just like, I'm not just saying this. Like y'all glowing. Like, Thank you know, you. Listen, why they say you don't look like what you've been through? I think that's all yes. right now. I'm, I'm mm-hmm. happy and just uh, still was working, working, then working stopped a little bit. But I open up the other doors because you know I do demolitions and different mm-hmm. things. I so I you keep, do demolitions. Well, you already know that. You already mm-hmm. know that. I do. I keep my hands in a lot of things. So mm, you're too uh, cute to be doing demolitions, honey. Well, girl, you know I break it down too. Oh, okay. I, I put my hard hat on Ooh. to do what I got to do. I love a working woman, honey. <laughs> <laughs> got to make the money. <laughs> But, See, uh, the diva gets dirty. Yeah, get, yeah the diva I gets like that. dirty. I like that. that. You are absolutely the right thing. <laughs> I'm dirty. But I'm still doing the same thing and just, just, just moving on. Yes. You know, just moving doing forward. the same, same thing. Yes. I'm still that. I'm still that go getter. I'm still that. Bling bling, I'm still that traveler. A bling queen, always. as we can see right here. Yes. Always, Woo-hoo. always, yes. 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 always. So yes, thank you all for like tuning in. I appreciate yes. it. I know we was a little late because we were getting the technical difficulties worked out. Diva Brandy had an emergency where she could not make it, but she definitely wanted to make sure she said what's up to everybody. So trust me, the divas are still together, but you know, here we are. <laughs> and yeah, if y'all want to call in, the number is four seven zero. 251-4707. If y'all have any questions for the divas, anything you want to ask us, ask anything you diva. want to hear from us, welcome to call in. Yes, yes. Ask, me, the ask the diva. Ask a diva. Hashtag yeah. ask a diva. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so um, COVID impact, you know, uh, did it impact any of you guys any kind of way? Because uh, everything's been going on. Gas prices is up. A lot of people get got sick. Did anybody get sick? Did you get guys get COVID? Knock on wood, as long as far as I know, I've never had it, um, which is I'm seeing rare because everybody I know has. So knock on wood mm-hmm. that I haven't. You know what? Before COVID was announced, mm-hmm. it was 2020 in February. I was doing an international job, and I was so sick. I was like, "What is this going mm-hmm. on?" And they didn't have a name for mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. But I was like, "Oh my God!" What After is the fact, you was mm-hmm. like, "Oh." What is this? Mm-hmm. So uh, it affected me it, it, that, at that particular time. It didn't. It hit a little bit, but it hit as hard as the second time mm-hmm. I, I, I got COVID. Well, you knew what it was. But I knew after they announced it was COVID mm-hmm. that I had COVID. But it's mm-hmm. been around since 2019, and it, mm-hmm. I knew it. Fact, I lost a lot of people um, doing COVID. I lost a lot of people doing COVID. So it was a rough time. Yeah, you know, just definitely. going. Just you couldn't go to the funeral. You couldn't go to the hospital. Mm-hmm. You had to just pray and just and hoping the best for everyone. Yeah. But I know as far as with the gas prices mm-hmm. and everything going up and I think they're trying to bring it down a little bit, but is it happening? Do you think it's happening anybody? Or any, I mean, what you think what's going on now? I mean, it's like um, I think every little bit counts. Mm-hmm. So after paying what were we paying over four dollars and some change for mm-hmm. gas for mm-hmm. it to go down to like three today I saw gas for three twenty five. Mm-hmm. So I mean for it to go down to that, I'm like really happy because it does every penny does make a difference. Where mm-hmm. as if you were pumping if you if you look at it whole as a whole, if you were pumping like fifty dollars in your car, you're probably pumping like forty. Yeah, that's true. You understand what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. right. Yeah. So you know, I'm excited because my you know, my the little um handle ticks and i'm like oh okay i got a couple of dollars left yeah. over you know so what about food i mean uh, so much going on. It's like- now food is terrible because you're gonna spend like what you save in gas you're gonna yeah. spend it at the grocery store yeah. mm-hmm. it is terrible like you know for somebody that's really trying to eat right or you eat a lot of organic foods that's those true. things were already expensive and so now everything has skyrocketed i mean for a box of cereal, it's like four, five dollars. Yeah, I'm like five dollars a for yeah, a box feel, of cereal. Yeah. You know, so it's really impacting a lot of people in rough ways. I do see a lot of people like on the side. Like um, I think it was yesterday, I saw family on the side mm-hmm. um, of the interstate, and they were um, of a bu- busy intersection. I'm sorry, and they were uh, the dad was out there. It was like four kids and the wife, or five kids, little children, mm-hmm. and they were. Um, he said he needed help. You know, they were trying yeah. to get money. 
So, you know, it's it's really difficult for people to take care of families, really um, to take care of their family, um, to just get around. Maintain. Yeah, maintain. It's, and it's people difficult. are losing their homes. Yeah, the apartment yeah, prices the are skyrocketing. Yeah. It's just so yeah. many things like a domino yeah. effect mm -hmm. that everything, when one thing goes up, it's like everything goes up. That's true. So you got what is, inflation and what, so and horrible. Probably, I mean, it's like Rent is oh my like God. two three thousand two for a two bedroom, one bedroom. What kind of mess is this? I mean, what can be done? Or what can right. we do? I know so many you people know. who left LA to move to Atlanta because mm -hmm. the that just rent yeah. was right. like I mean, literally uh, probably half of the people I know and did business with Atlanta have moved to Atlanta. And even though Atlanta is astronomical, I had people moving to Atlanta thinking, well, I'm going to just go to Atlanta, buy right. a house, do this yeah. and that. Yeah. Like, oh shoot, I can't even do that no. anymore. Yeah. So Atlanta's no. still high. Than when I first moved here, but it's still way lower than the rest then, of the country. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A lot of people are struggling, yes. and uh, I don't know anybody know about United Two One One, and I think you mentioned Talapusa. Yes, um, we're gonna have next segment or next show. We're gonna have some links to help you guys uh, that need help. We're here to help you guys. We're not just here for us. We're here for you. We're going to get all kind of resources, whatever information we need to give to you guys. We're going to give it to you. We're going to have that on our next uh, next show. And like I said, we just we 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 revamping and redoing. We're going to be brand new, and we're going to help you guys this time. Uh, we're going to be out in the community, and we're going to do some uh, fundraisers, and we're going to do different things yes. to help the community so whatever y'all like for talk show divas of Atlanta to attend or to help out on just let us know and yeah. we're going to talk about it and we're going to be there for you guys this platform is not just for us it's for you too you have any businesses that you want to get on the show and 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 talk about your businesses we're here you can give us a call leave us a message on our on our talk show divas of Atlanta page and we will get back in contact with you guys um, so I do want to just give more shout outs real yes, quick if we can. Um, what's up, Shira? Shira was hey, a Shira. diva in 2018. So thank you for showing hey, us baby. support right now. We miss you. We do. We love you. Yes. Love you. And I have to say what's up to Nisi Nunya, who was on since like 6.59 talking about where y'all at. Aww. So here we are. Hey. <laughs> we're here. And we're here for good. We're not going anywhere. Like I said, COVID affect us. And we had mm -hmm. to get revamped and get everything back together. So we're here bigger and better for the world. Yes. Not just for ATL. We're here for the world. We're going to yes. be here Every, we're gonna be everywhere. Yes, global. We're gonna be global. So, yes. um, like I said, you have any questions? Four seven zero two five one four seven zero seven. If you have any questions, any time, give us a call. We can answer live right now. Just ask give us a, a call. You want to answer something, or you just want to say something? Just give us a call. Just give us a call. <laughs> so what else? Um, and then with the monkeypox, what oh y'all think about the monkeypox going on? I know they said in the beginning that it was sexual transmittable, but uh, Nanny saying skin to skin. Yes, Cretion. they are. Yes. So how y'all feel about that? Quite honestly, I don't feel no way about that. I think I've been so inundated with real life stuff that yeah. I haven't even been watching news and keeping up as much as I used to. And mm -hmm. I think because I'm so fatigued from COVID. Yeah. I was just like, all right. So like whatever monkey pops like and, and sad to say, but it's like when I need to know, then I'll know. But right now I kind of still kind of vision it as something that is, you know, and sadly, again, where there's no national emergency, I know different uh, states are declaring that. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I think probably because I stay in the house so much too, I don't know. But yeah, monkey pox <laughs> is like I don't have energy yeah. for them right now. <laughs> yeah, but then you always traveling though. You, you yeah, know, I do. Know. And the thing is, where I travel, like even right now, most of the places still take COVID very seriously. Mm -hmm. So like, there's so many things put in place when you travel to these other countries. Most of the time, when I traveled, I felt safer. To the, to the countries I was going to. Right. right. You know, it's like everybody come back to the U.S. and get sick because they're so strict at most of the places I've been to, so. Okay, okay. You know. Okay, since we, with the COVID, we're going to go down to get a little sexy uh, with our next, you ready for our next segment? What's the next segment, it's huh? It's real early right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's real early. Yes. Okay, okay. okay. I do want to say this one last thing okay. about COVID is, um, during when it first hit, like I think the U.S. had its first case in like March or something. Mm -hmm. Me and my daughter were on a 10-day cruise. Oh, really? It was the Abraham Hicks. Oh, my goodness. Abraham Hicks. I love it. Law of Attraction. And so, Ooh. I, 
you know. Ten day cruise. Like we had six seminars with Abraham, <sighs> but the world was beginning to shut down during oh, the time. Oh my okay. goodness. And you know when you're on a cruise, even if you had a package, you still don't get very good reception. So right. we're just getting bits and pieces. Right. So we're out on the ocean and they're like, oh my I goodness. think COVID hit the US, you know. So we're hearing that first. Then I got another call from my best friend. Yo, you better tell your son to go buy some toilet paper and water. Oh. <laughs> yeah, because all the toilet paper was gone. Right. So we almost if if we were like a few days later, mm -hmm. we would have been stuck on the boat right. for like weeks because the crew, our staff mm -hmm. couldn't because they were all from different countries. They right. were stuck on the boat for probably several weeks. Wow. We kind of just made it. Uh. And my daughter was still living in L.A. and she L.A. was shut down. She couldn't even fly back home. Oh my god! Yeah, so I'm just remembering the very beginning because it's like dang, when we left, it was just a thing and came back world change obviously never been the same but no um, not at all you gotta tell us about this abraham because i like oh my gosh I love abraham, abraham hicks y'all i'm a fan yeah. i am a I start, yeah okay I'm a fan. you gotta you gotta right, you can't so, just throw it out there well gotta, in october she's doing a live workshop here oh okay okay so you, you my gotta, date yes all right and if we're you, sound, you don't know about yes. it but once you become an abraham stir you never yes. turn back okay yes yes so it's just oh. all about the law of attraction and just yes. how we create our own reality one of the um one of her sayings is, is that you're a deliberate creator. Mm -hmm. So like anything that happens around me, good or bad, I created, created it, it so I can always change it. So. Mm -hmm. Very yeah. good. Yeah, mm -hmm. I love Abraham. Yes. yes. Hey, Tangie. Know. She's an Abrahamster, too. <laughs> All right, Tangie. Yay. <laughs> Abraham is really good. Yeah. Um, uh, I've been following Abraham for years, and I was telling you that before because I know we supposed to went to an event together, mm -hmm. and then COVID, it, COVID, it's, it's <laughs> COVID, just so many COVID, now. COVID stuff. That damn Rona. Yeah, yeah. So we're going um, October. I already have the date. I didn't buy my turkey jets. So, well, so uh, we're, we're going. going. Yeah, we're, we're going. going. It's a good event Definitely. to go to. All right. What's up, Rob? New. I know I'm gonna do these random shout outs because I don't want to like not do it because I got yeah. ADHD and I might forget. So You're thank you for watching. <laughs> thank Rob, you, Tangi, Shira, Nisi, April, Hassan. Yeah. I appreciate you Thank all. you. Thank you so much. Thank you for very, tuning very in. Much. We very appreciate much. you for mm -hmm. taking your time out to view us. Right, a yeah. little pop-up yeah. show. Yeah, yeah, a little pop-up. Pop -up show. Yes, yeah, a pop-up show. Yeah. So why is it a pop-up show? Oh, uh, well, that's a good question, Yeah, Dana. like what are we doing? Uh, what are we doing are we this for? <laughs> <laughs> we're question. popping up. We're, pop we're, we're popping up. There you go. We're popping like up. Like that. Yeah. Popping okay, up and I, popping okay, out. I'll tell you the story. <laughs> Popping up and out. I think D. Alexis, I think it was just a random, because we've been in touch, right. like just social media, and I forget what, it was just a random reach out, whatever, and I was like, it would be so good to do a reunion, right? Yeah. Now, let me tell you, I didn't mean right away. <laughs> you know, I get on it. Uh, but D. Sagittarius, D. Sagittarius, he's like, okay, I'll set up a conference call. <laughs> And literally, I think the next week. Now, I'm not going to tell y'all I was going through some stuff at the time, right? And I'm like, okay, but I'm not going to want to back down. She took point and she was yeah, on it. We had conference calls every week for the last yeah. two months. We did a Divas outing. And then yeah. we realized, like, because things are changing, like, we started the momentum. We didn't want to stop it, although we're not ready yeah. to start our weekly show yet. Mm -hmm. So we said, let's do a pop-up. Let's yeah. do a reunion. Say hi and let us know. Let them know we coming back. Yes. Yeah, so we're we going to be back, back weekly and share. soon. Weekly yeah, soon. Follow, yes. so follow and share because and we are share. coming back. We yes. will be weekly. Right, like so, we were before. Yeah. Yep, that's true. Mm -hmm. Yep. And we, we had it going on. Yeah. We, yeah. we, we got we it going working on. It out. We, we working, working it out. We working it out. Like, I really, like, just, because I'm laughing to myself, because we're not going to talk about it, but just all of us, just all the things we've been going through, making oh my these goodness, meetings yeah. and the conference and this and that. Like, y'all don't know. We've been working through, but, yeah. like, every single thing I'm, I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. <laughs> See, I'm like a beast. Let me tell you something about me, and that's why I, I, I can't, well... <laughs> I, I when I when someone give me a project, I jump on it right away. It just just this this in my nature. I want it right. I want and I, I I'm the type of person who want it to make it happen. And where we're gonna take this show, we're gonna take this show show worldwide. Mm -hmm. That is our vision for worldwide. this show. We're we're gonna take it worldwide, and we have a vision for this show. And that's why I take it. I'm passionate about this show. And I'm, that's why I get on about the meetings. Get on the meetings. We have to do meetings. You have to do meetings to make things right. Thirty minutes, yeah, fifteen say. minutes, five minutes. Where y'all at? Where y'all at? Get, get on the. Get on the this is our taskmaster. <laughs> and can I just tell you, I appreciate it, and I love it so much. And I know, like D. Alexis and I, a lot talk about our sign because we're both Sagittarius, yes, we are. fire, and everything. Fire. So for mm -hmm. me, it feels so good. 
to be able to have someone else be the me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you don't really know how much I appreciate that. And you Aww. whip in the shape. Because I'm always having to be that one as the fire. Mm -hmm. So it's just so cool. Like, I'm like, yes. Sometimes I try to bag back. Then I tell you, I, I need to bag back and let someone else. <laughs> she <laughs> she did this time, though. I'm not well, going to lie. I'm a lead. I'm a No, I love it. And it's you did. Appreciative. Yes. Like, I appreciate it. You yeah. don't know how much. Because, yeah. 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 <laughs> so thank you. Well, nice yeah, break, huh? Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. All right. So what, yeah guys let us know what you want to hear what you want to see ask a diva hear. come ask on tangi i know you got a question nisi what's up rob new team stay at home i see a hashtag yay <laughs> we're speaking up also stay at home while we waiting for the phone to ring because i know y'all about to call mm -hmm. right <laughs> but um for me um because i've been working from home since 2006 so oh, wow. it, yeah, it wasn't mm -hmm. it was my usual however the nature of my business mm -hmm. so what i do is and i've been doing this for 20 shit a long time <laughs> and I sell maintenance supplies to hospitals okay. cleaning supplies mm -hmm. janitorial supplies so guess what, what happened when COVID hit <laughs> what happened we're not available oh, oh I thought you were gonna say you got yeah. really busy I, I got very busy but I could not keep up with the demand of what they needed okay. so okay. for the first time in my 20 something years of working I was doing 20 hour days because I'd have to put alerts yes. when some Lysol was available I figured and if you it was were 3 busy. in the morning I had to get up and buy 10 cases because if I woke up at 7 those were they gone were in back order it was it was exciting because I like excitement yeah. but it was stressful yes. and it's like I literally could have made millions mm -hmm. if I wasn't a small business and it was just me Aww. trying to find we need 6,000 masks we need $25,000 worth of disinfectant like I was trying to recruit people on Facebook yo anybody and it was just difficult but um, I made it through but Yay, like good. it was so crazy because I'm a telemarketer. I'm just gonna be honest. Okay. You know, I've been doing. I call you. Hey guys, what do you need? And that's been the way I do it. This oh, was the wow. first time my phone was ringing off the hook. Literally. Oh, my Can goodness. you get them? Like, I'ma try. No, they don't have nothing till November. So did y'all go out there and so hold? Animated. Did y'all go and buy twenty things? Yes. Or Lysol and yes, toilet paper. I still have I still have ten cases of hand sanitizer in my garage. If oh my gosh! Needs <laughs> I had to because if I was able to find it, mm -hmm. I had to buy all of it mm -hmm. because I didn't know if I'd be able to if find it. Be able to find and the it. price gouging. Yeah. Oh, Damn people because yes, all of these they people did. started popping up who didn't mm -hmm. really sell this stuff, yeah. mm -hmm. and because they're big corporations and people with millions, where I normally buy it from, they buying all of it. And now I got to buy through them, oh. so the prices. That was stressful. And they hiked it up. You know, in the mask. Mm. I bought some masks oh. off, online. Let me tell you <laughs> Good guys. Luck. I'm serious. It mm. hadn't been contaminated with something. But mm. yeah, because they had, and I didn't see this too after the reviews. I was so dizzy oh. wearing it because, you know, people were selling anything oh, trying to right. market Recycling off COVID. Probably. They oh would do, my it gosh. was something, it was different color masks. And I was in Walmart and I'm like, what is going on? Then someone else that I gave the mask to said the same thing. And I said, it's the mask. So people was doing all kind of outrageous all things. All types of shady things. They were selling that me hand sanitizer so. that was straight tequila. And I don't know because I'm a reseller, but I'm a drop shipper, which means yeah, I'll find shipper. it where and mm -hmm. I send it directly to right. my customer. So I don't know exactly what they're getting unless they call and complain. But luckily, again, I've been that doing this 20-some so. years. I have loyal customers. It's like, yo, Dana, I think they sent us straight tequila, calling it hand sanitizer. So, of course, yeah. then I'll order a case and have it sent to my house. And I'm pouring this out. It's, there's no consistency. And it smells like, I'm like, so then I had yeah. to start ordering anything I ordered for the customer. I had to send it to me first to make okay. sure it was correct. Now I'm spending extra money because I'm reshipping it now to yeah. my customer. But I did shoot, yeah. Ooh, let's let's yeah. look. Let's move grab that Rona. Ooh, she made me mad. Yeah, made me mad too. Is it, it was it was. And it now monkeypox, like you were talking about. Yeah, that it's like that thing. another thing where they can say we're not gonna do this and that. It's already bad again. enough because you've no. got the whole you gun know, thing yeah. we going on. The monkeypox vaccination. Are you? Will you get it? Oh, I mean, here's the thing. Knock on wood, as I know, I've never caught. COVID and everyone in my house who's non-vaccinated has. However, I also know people who are vaccinated, boosted, and cruised mm -hmm. who have had it three times. Okay. So it's like, is mine working? <laughs> you know, or is that like, so it's just like, 
Hmm. I don't know, but also as a traveler, you know that we've had to get shots to go to Africa. Yeah, different that's true. Things. So I'm like, I've been getting vaccinations. I didn't know what they were for years because you yeah. have to get them to enter certain countries. Why do you think people won't get vaccinated? I mean, because they scared of the government. Well, yeah, <laughs> they yes, scared of the government. True. But then years ago, when they was younger, they had vaccination. Their parents vaccinated. Right, and that's what they, they don't know. Their parents doing. made them do it. So they're yeah. like, if they had a choice and blah blah blah. Uh, I mean. Did you, did you get vaccinated? Yes. Yeah. I'm suited and booted. Suited and booted. Yeah, with the suited latest shot. <laughs> in my oh, and then also arm. for acting, you know, basically most yeah. union gigs you can't even work on if you're not vaccinated and boosted. Right. So that's true. And I know so many actors who protested for so long. Really? And I have a, a guy who's like a, a B-list actor. He's a friend. He was like... I gotta get the jab because Netflix offered me this thing and yeah. this thing. And, like, and okay, I got it. Gotcha. Netflix ain't playing. And yes. Yeah. I'm like, well, did you? Are you vaccinated, D? Of course. Okay. Yes. Yes. You get monkeypox vaccination at all? No, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> not. You got the chicken pox back in there. I mean, might as well get the monkeypox, the pig pox, the snake pox. I'm but. vaccinated and, 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 and boosted, and I'm going to get my flu shot. But far as the monkey shot, uh, I'm not going to get that. Yeah. No I'm monkey scared. pox for me, no. I just stay away it. from people and then, you know. Uh, you, you stay people, away from people. You, you see people with the, 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 the bumps or whatever. I'm just afraid of. You stay away from people. I stay away from people. I think it's best <laughs> to stay away. I don't want to touch. I'm not touching That's anybody. hilarious. That's You're not close <laughs> up to anybody. But wait, is the phone ringing? I ain't hear the phone ring yet. I think um, they're scared. They don't want to talk Look at there. Everybody who's watching, almost, I know y'all. I'll call yeah, you. A lot of people watching. I will call you. <laughs> <laughs> and you know I will. <laughs> yeah, call What's about. your phone number? Give yeah. them digits. Let us call you. Right, right. <laughs> Put you on. And Nisi said, keep those masks on. Yeah. Uh, yeah, do you still wear your mask? Do y'all still wear your mask? Cause uh, most of the time. Sometimes. I can't I'm not going to lie. I should be wearing <sighs> Because you, once you get the freedom I mean, I'm the feel breath. embarrassed because I should. Right. Once you get the free, you're like, oh, you know I can breathe again. That's how I caught the latest BA5. I was sick. Really? Yeah, I caught the latest BA5. Yeah. Is that, is? That, is that another COVID? Yeah. That's, that's another. Lord, that's, 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 okay, that's, so and you had a mask on and you triple I, I, I think I caught it either at the gym or I was in Publix one day and this guy was caught. I'm like, seriously. Uh -huh. But. I didn't tell you, ladies, that I was sick. I called it this recent. Well, it was in June. I was sick June. Yeah, July. when I was around y'all. That's what I was saying. Like, okay. <laughs> That's what I was saying. Like, 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 now wait a minute. Remember no. that day I was coughing? No, no. y'all wasn't around me. Okay, okay. okay. y'all wasn't okay. around me. But I, I, I caught the BA five, and mm. it started with a headache, mm. and it okay. started with a sore throat. Mm. And I was coughing to the point. But of, it was less severe when you had it the first time. It was more severe. Oh, and this is recent. Yes. And you were vaccinated. And boosted. Mm -hmm. hmm. I will vaccinate. See what boosted, I mean? And um, would that change your mind at all? As far as what? Vaccination. No. Because I, been, been I feel that if I wasn't vaccinated, that it would have been gone. worse. Really? Yeah. A lot it would have been worse. It took me way. a minute to get past um, to heal from. I, the cough was lingering on. Mm. I think it, you know, see, it was. Um, uh, I think I heard it. Y'all was on a call with me. I was coughing, and I had. I told oh you, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I was, uh, I, w I went to the emergency room with the urgent care to say mm -hmm. I that I had it. So I went from there. And then it took me about two and a half weeks wow. to uh, come clear. Oh, my right goodness. So that's, yeah, my the, so that's the one that's too. out right now. Is the BA5 is very BA5? contagious. My daughter called it, too. Oh, my, my Yeah, it was really bad. It's the call. But, you know, I wear my mask. Once I mm -hmm. uh, uh, got the BA5, you I wear put your my mask? mask back on. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, it's right here at this mm -hmm. video. <laughs> that's why I say I carry mine with me. So I might put it on, I might not put it on, but you know. Yeah, once you get it, it'll change your whole attitude for mm -hmm. us about the virus because it, I was so sick. The cough was just mm -hmm. unbelievable. It's the mucus that was already on my lungs. I found out then that I had mucus on my lungs, mm -hmm. and it was just, it, it was just, it was really, really bad. Yeah. I don't wish that on too many people mm -hmm. at all. Rob, Rob New said he still wears his mask. He has a small kid, and he is not trying to risk it. I understand. Yeah. Understand, understand. And Tanji said, if you're not in a bubble, you're going to prone to get something. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's true, yeah. too. Yeah, that's I try true. to stay in a bubble for the most part. Yeah, I try part. to stay in a bubble, yeah. too. I try to stay in a bubble, too. I really do need to do better with wearing my mask. I try, like, last week. Do you leave week. the house every day? Yeah. Oh. Look at uh oh. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so you I need to promise, do better, sis. You need I to promise do I'm gonna do better. I, I do because I 
No, seriously. I said I was going to really start wearing my mask again you because really I don't want to catch COVID. And I'll be going in and out these stores and sometimes I feel like I have a little sore throat. Let me tell you something about the I sore take throat. my vitamins. No, it, it didn't work for me. The vitamins, I was taking vitamins every day. Three but boosters and a shot and the thing didn't work. Come on, you think a vitamin going to keep you smelling the damn? You know what? Yes. Okay. It helps because it, let me. I will say that I had slack on my my vitamins. Uh huh. I had slack on See? my vitamins, and I'm telling you, mm -hmm. if I wasn't boosted, I told y'all. Okay, I so you had the backup. I had. I'm telling you, it was so bad that I believe that I would it it would it would have been worse, like straight up. Yeah. What yeah. vitamins do you take? Oh, y'all know about my vitamins. She's like, oh we're not lord, <laughs> girl, tell us the vitamins you, know, as far you as take. What, as far as for immunity, yes, I take it's a I can't think of a name, but I take a one immunity pill that has everything in it, vitamin C and everything. Okay, did you I, order that? No, it's it's at the uh, the uh, vitamin shop, mm -hmm. and then I do the. Um, Interesting. I do, mm -mm, the powder stuff. What's this stuff called? You put in the drink and you stir it up. Come on, I now. like the. Um, well, I, cause I think I oh, do, I oh emergency. Right. I, I take an emergency pill. every day. Mm -hmm. I take an emergency every day. You got the vitamin C, and it's good for your skin anyway. Yeah, so I'm my going. mom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you found one. Lord, I'm going. is it vitamin that? C? Okay. Vitamin, or vitamin C. Vitamin C. <laughs> <laughs> so it ain't time yet. It ain't time yet. It's almost that it time. It is though. almost. It, also, it, it is almost, almost that time. So. It's, it's, it's good that we stay on there and move yes, on. Yes, we have way through, ladies. Uh, yeah. So I say I give us a high five because, Yay. again, for this to come together, it's like, whew, we did a lot. And Brandy, again, we miss you. We're going to kick your ass. But we miss <laughs> you. Oh, <I> <laughs> no words for Brandy. Bam, bam, bam. But we do miss you because I, mm. do, I do want it to be known that Brandy has been mm. with us every single step of the way. She's been on every conference call, been at the photo. Like, so this is like literally last minute. You know what I mean? So, and somebody said you are glowing, D. Alexis. I just want oh, you to know. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Nisi said that. Nisi, oh, thank you so much. Oh, and she said, K. Renee, it's beautiful. Oh, what about me? So um, she said, Tangie said that monkey pox is not worth catching. No. Thank you for joining us. The real Vernell Roberts, who just signed on. Thank, thank you so you. much. Oh, hey. I appreciate you. I I'm gorgeous. The real thank one. you, Nisi. And um, Tangie said that the um, all these things coming up makes it hard to date now. Yes. Okay. She yes. was scared. <laughs> what about that? So what about, so this is a good question. Okay. So I'm what, scared. What, before, before, before we start talking about dating. Yeah, talk yeah. me off. Talk me off. Talk me off. How do they cheat during COVID? How do you guys cheat during COVID? I know Walmart closed at 12 o'clock. And you can't use this as an excuse. No, they <laughs> actually closed at like 8. Yeah. So, wow. how do you think people was, that there was already cheating, married, in relationships, going out, seeing the side piece? How Saying they, they was working overtime if they had an outside job. Yeah. They were using work. They ain't nobody working, babe. They ain't got nobody. Everybody got COVID, so I've got to work for 68 hours. Yeah, because Walmart and the strip clubs didn't close down. Right. So, how did the guys get it? We need to bring some guys on here next time. We yeah, know that's how a good do, idea. Yeah, we want to know they cheat how. During COVID. Yeah. You think you think they gonna admit how they well, cheated during COVID? I, I, well, I, they cheated. I, I read between the lines, I'm like Judge. Uh, <laughs> What did we say? They say they was going to Walmart. Yeah. So what happened? Walmart yeah. was crowded, so I had to go to CVS. Right. CVS was crowded, uh -huh. so I had to go somewhere else. So they didn't have what I needed. Mm -hmm. So you and know, they came home with nothing because they said, "Baby, would you believe they was all out?" <laughs> A lot of babies were born during COVID. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. My ex oh had my two gosh. COVID babies. Oh, wow. Really? Two COVID babies. Yep. Really? Yep. yep. Staying yep. home. So people Staying were home. very busy. They was out and there. And nothing to do. They <laughs> yeah. have nothing else to do. You know, as you can see, it's Trump 24-7. Who's the, my mayor friend? Uh, 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 what's the... Dude, the mayor of New York that was on there every oh, five Giuliani. Yeah, Giuliani. Not Giuliani, the other oh. one with the brother. Oh, dang it. I can't think of his name. But, oh, I, mean, I know who you're yeah, talking about. that's all you saw. Yeah. So it's like, I mean, I could see why the babies was made. It's like, we can't go nowhere. I'm tired right. of Trump and this dude. And, all right, well, you know. I mean, those who had the option. You know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so how did people date during COVID? I mean, how do you date now during COVID where you don't know if they got the monkey pox or if they have... COVID in the back of your throat. I mean, how? Are, okay, let me just say this. Let me. We're we're going to a different grown and sexy COVID in the uh, back of the throat. Uh, and sexy. Same thing right now. So, any kids in the room or anybody under six? I just kidding. Under thirteen, leave the room because we're getting ready to talk about sex and relationships. Okay. So what time is it, Phil? What time is it? It's time, time to down. wind down. That too. 
it's unwind, good when you're a job. wind down. <laughs> One of them. But you no, need a refill. refill. I need a, need a refill. You need, need a refill. We're live, so we got to give her a refill. We're I'm just out. saying. I'm just saying. I yeah. mean, we got to turn this last 25 minutes out. All right. There you go. All right. All right. You good? good? Mm -hmm. You good? I'm good. So, yeah. look at So, how do people... So, what was you saying? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what you were saying. Do how do list? people cheat? I mean, no. I said, how do people date during COVID? How do you date during COVID? How do you go out on dates and trust that they don't have COVID or anything else at that? Or monkey pox? How do you date? How do you... What do you do? What, what's going on out here? What about dating? What's, what's they, on going? A, they on a date naps. Okay. They on a dating apps. And yeah. So, okay. Apps got real popular. Clubhouse was born during COVID. Clubhouse. 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 Help me. So what's how Clubhouse? Many people Clubhouse? It's what's Clubhouse? Clubhouse. So Clubhouse was born during COVID. And so how, like, we have social media. Okay. You have the, this Clubhouse is a, a audio social mm -hmm. media. Okay. Okay. So because people weren't able to leave the house, really? you could go on to Clubhouse. I can go on right now. You create a room and then you're talking in really? live. To really? Oh, oh my gosh. So like, did you get on there? Heck yeah. You can oh. If you go on, like, I, I haven't been on in a minute, but back then people spent all their time and then all of these, like, because then you create a room. You want to create a room about sex, stocks, what? dating, law of really? so I, had to him. I never heard of that. And it felt, and people felt connected because you're hearing a live voice. You can hear, like, when you're on Facebook and other things, you only read the word and you right. put your own emotion to it. Right. And here you're talking, like, like, and then you're talking to celebrities, too. I had so many conversations with Tyrese. Tyrese was really? big on it in the beginning. Tiffany Haddish, she was, like, one of the big people on it in the beginning. And they're holding these rooms and you're speaking. You know, you have to be a man moderator. They got to bring you on stage. Oh, okay. rules. But um, that really Still was cool, um, that was born during COVID, and a lot of people met people mm -hmm. and started. Even though it's not a dating app, but it just it felt like you knew somebody. If we in the same room on Clubhouse mm -hmm. every day, so, so now you finally this. I wish your name is really boo up Clubhouse because I know it ain't diva two three nine four. <laughs> you know, so um, that yeah, that really that. So, so you say you went into a breakout room for sexual. The, so oh no! They didn't. They didn't call them. They didn't call them sex on? rooms. They were either called Demon Time. Or oh, was, oh, it was called Demon, Demon Time. Time. So they went in there to what? They, they had. They had moan rooms. Oh, moan. The moan rooms. I. I never been in one. <laughs> Accidentally, one time. Oh, well, because here, well, let <laughs> wait me, a minute. Let me explain. <laughs> let me explain about Clubhouse. Anybody that follows you can see what room you're going in. Oh, okay. okay. So even if you wanted to peek and see what was going Did on in the XXXX room, hmm. you knew that your teacher, your boss, your mama, oh. everyone can see that. Oh, DLX is in the XXXX room. So, so unless now people started creating alternate, I wasn't that interested. But with the moan rooms, you'd have guys who would actually offer a cash app reward mm -hmm. to whoever moaned the best. Oh, so you would wow. see, and you can see how many people are in a clubhouse room. So you mm -hmm. can see, oh, there's only 20 people in there. Oh, there's 2,000 people in that oh, one. Oh, wow. Oh, there's 10,000. Elon Musk done had rooms on. Mm -hmm. When he came on, he damn near broke, you know, the whole the, thing. But, broke um, the thing, yeah. So, yeah, again. We're late. Y'all late yeah, as hell. It was 2020. It was born during COVID. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> anyway, let's I'm let's, completely let's behind the Let's go back to ball. the relationships and dating. <laughs> yes, <Let's> see. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Brian, for for joining us. Be 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 love. Appreciate thank you. that. And yes, Tangie Clubhouse for dating. A lot of dates were made, and oh, they wow. like they look at right now. They're downloading Clubhouse. Clubhouse. When you say that, it was <laughs> Clubhouse. I'm just saying. I have not been in there in a couple months because y'all mm -hmm. know I had a last crazy couple months, but. Yeah. You know, again, they have enlightened rooms. I'm Buddhist. They have Buddhist rooms where okay. I would go in there some days when I'm stressed, and they just chant all day. So I can log in at one o'clock. I can log in at six o'clock. Oh wow! Because it's all over the country, what all over that? the world. That's like awesome. I remember when they let China join, and then you can see because they'll give you updates. Hey, China's now on Club. At first, it was iPhone only too. Oh my god! And it was invite only, and you only had like three invites only. So I'm like, can you invite me to Clubhouse? Because if you didn't get an invite, you couldn't even be on there. Okay. So people used to be like, you got I'm more club. It was like crack. You got more Clubhouse invites. And and then it took them probably six like months crack. later to open it up. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, that's oh, wow. a, again, so, that's, that's. I guess I'll be seeing a lot of you guys in Clubhouse. <laughs> Over. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Divas of Atlanta. Hello. Hello, what? We're going to create that when we leave. A talk show, Divas of Atlanta Clubhouse. That's room. what, what? we're going to do. We're what? Gonna, that's, that's right. It will be there tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> so okay. you can come and listen to us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you think people went out? So, so you said they, they was going out dating anyway. I mean, you got to once you meet people on the app, you got to go out and meet them. Ciao. They were doing Zoom dates. 
they was doing everything. Yeah. Zoom it's, dates and if you had a car, yeah. FaceTime dates. Oh, FaceTime. Yeah, a lot of people who yeah. wouldn't, because remember, we had a curfew. Mm -hmm. So you weren't oh, really that's allowed right. out. So mm -hmm. literally, they were doing virtual. Who got Zoom fatigued? Like, I don't even work for nobody, but I got Zoom fatigued. Because like, like in the beginning, all my Buddhist meetings were Zoom. Auditions, everything was Zoom. Mm -hmm. My acting class was Zoom. I'm like, no. Oh, not another no, Zoom, right? Not no more. Zoom. And then, of course, the Zoom dressing. So you put on the nice shirt, but you got your thong on underneath the baby. <laughs> Hello, you know. Or, or like, wait, I was, I was, <laughs> I was babysitting my niece one day. She's got Zoom school. I forget that they see me in the background mm -hmm. too. So right, I had clothes on and everything. But like, there's new math apparently. My kids are grown. I don't know about the there's new math. There's new right? everything. But the new math take a whole lot longer than the old math, and it yeah. does not logically make sense. But I forgot the teacher could see me and hear me. Right, so she's up here doing it the new math way. I said, girl, just... <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, that's not how we do it today. I'm like, huh? my bad. <laughs> you know, so I did not turn the thing off, the turn the mute off. And I, girl, next time. No, ask Alexa, ask Alexa. Yeah, Alexa. Just do it when they not watching you yeah. on Zoom. Right. Because yeah. you'll be forgetting. Definitely computer fatigue. Fatigue, oh, that's right. for sure. Gosh. Yeah, I don't even well. want to look in the computer anymore. Right. Really? Because that's how they get birthday parties. But wait, oh, D nice. Yes. Oh yeah, that yes. was good. that was D nice. Those were really everything. Nice, thank you. Saved so many lives. Yeah. really did. Oh you my really God, did. D nice. D nice, you really yeah. saved a, a lot of people. Oh lives. my God, because that literally became the thing to look forward yeah. to. Yeah. Like yo, yes. So yeah. like, oh my gosh, yeah. And I don't even want to talk it. about that. It was definitely everything. Yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Wow. It was definitely the conversation piece. So next time, guys, or can you just call us in or whatever, 470-251-4707. Tell us how you out there I dating. What's going on? Your dating life good? You can't find nobody? What's going on? Everybody said they can't find nobody. Everybody playing games. It's a new How's world. How's the dating world? Yeah, it's, it's a new world. When they say the uh, dating pool got pissing <laughs> what they say? You, you know what I say about dating? with people? You, you track who you want. If you, if you, I said this before mm -hmm. on the show. Say that again. Let I me hear. It. Let me hear. If you cleanse yourself, you you attract what's going on in your life. People say it's no good men out there. It's good men out there. It's mm -hmm. all, it's, there are good men out here. There are good women out here. Mm -hmm. You just got to get ready for them. You can't just jump all the way around and date here, whatever. You got to get yourself ready and prepare for your mate because you keep going here. I'm dating him or, that, or she. I'm dating her. You're not going to find your mates. So, which is a segue to actually something I wrote down was mm -hmm. that damn multiple dating crap, which I heard about that on Clubhouse. Okay. Because you was like, you dating here, you dating here. Back in my day, <laughs> when you dated somebody, you're dating them, you're getting to know mm -hmm. them. That's the only person because you want to see that. That was the normal dating. Mm -hmm. Okay. Apparently, that's not normal dating anymore. They got rosters. They call it multi-dating. Uh, this And it's normal, and everybody expects that. And even though mm -hmm. I'm old school and somebody's like, I mean, don't you date multiple people? I'm like, at the same time? First of all, I don't even like that many people at the same time. Like, I'm lucky if I'm attracted to one, one person, person a year. Mm -hmm. I'm like, how do y'all like so many people at this? All right, let me not. Let me just sip my... <laughs> Sip your wine, boo. Because she, look, she's like, she's I don't wild. understand it. Yeah. What's up, Al Fat Boy Wooly? Thank you for joining in, baby. He could tell us all about dating. Call, call in. Us and you ain't have no dry spell. <laughs> call us about dating because we're we're curious how, what's going on in the dating world for out there. Real, I, mean, for real. It, I hear that it's, it's bad in all ages. I hear it's groups, bad 30s, in all ages. 40s, 50s, yes. 60s. I hear that even 60 year old, they, yeah. they ask for sex on the first date. Are you guys out there asking for oral sex? On the first date, in the women and the men in the sixties. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see a pastor that was looking for not in the sixties? Not, oh, not yeah. in the Jamil, what's up, Jamil? Thank you for watching, Jamil Shelton. I mean, thank you for joining us, buddy. The visual me. is not the working visual. for me right now. I'm sorry. The visual ain't working. It's, it's like I'm hearing all kind of crazy stuff from my friends. It's like I can't find anybody. They they have multiple. It's like they say women are desperate now mm -hmm. and they don't take anything. Are you? Mm -hmm. That is the desperate? truth. That's what they are say. Women, women are desperate. accepting anything now just to say I'm on a date, just to mm -hmm. say I have a man. What are you ladies out there doing? Because I don't know anything about that. Please help me. School me on it because that's not. They're multi dating. They date in this one because they he but take them he, out. They date this one because he take them on trips. They date this one because he's real easy to talk to. And then they date this one because he got a big dick, but he ain't got no money. So they, oh, that's what they multi dating. Okay, let's talk about so, so, so wait, <laughs> I mean, that's what I heard. It's still dangerous to be multi dating. But they're doing it. I'm just going to come with the logic. Capacity. 
I don't. I don't. I'm like, what's your name? Is okay. Wait. I, I, I don't. I don't. I don't. I'm. You know, I'm too ADHD to be. I have to remember three dudes. That, <laughs> too much. I can't. No. Yeah. How do people do that? How I do, don't know. I know this guy. He had relationship with five different women. Mm. He was text messaging. Have anybody ever been in a text messaging <laughs> relationship where you actually believe the person? You never see them. Maybe once every hand and then. <laughs> they usually me, right? Oh, I'm you sure mean that happened a lot during COVID. What's that? Catfish really? text messaging? I'm, I'm sure that well, happened. No, 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 no. I know someone that was had six different women. <laughs> Oh, you, you mean, okay. Yeah, I know someone, and you if you're watching, you know who I'm talking oh. about. Oh. But had six different women and was involved with the main woman, but he had five different women. He was text messaging, and they was in love with him. They really liked him. Are you guys, are people that slick and that naive that you will like, if a man not seeing you, he's not, because he don't want to. And I tell people that. If he's not seeing you, because he don't want he to. He said he wasn't vaccinated, so I had to accept that answer. You know, yeah, they, they come up. It, it's like people fool themselves. He said he in quarantine for yeah. sixty days. Yeah, people fool themselves and believe that the person is telling the truth. In your mind, you know mm -hmm. that they're lying to you. Why are people accepting so much now? You know, from people. Why are male and females? Because I'm not going to just have it one sided. Right. Why are women? Right, men accepting just anything now and I know a lot of people say they're lonely they're lonely so when you're lonely you make mm -hmm. mistakes mm -hmm. so why are people accepting as long as I got someone or, or sleeping with as long as they, they get this piece of dick or whatever on this side and he come and cuddle me on that side why are you why are people lowering their standards now this day and age who y'all think um I think because nobody wants to be alone That's I mean seriously and then I think it comes from a lot of in Insecurities? No, who you are as a person, your mm. character, your morals, whether you will, what are your standards for what you will and won't accept? A lot of educated professional Boredom. Men. So, because you're bored, you just, you're going to just accept a piece of man. I'm what tough. Are Those are the ones that's multi dating. Remember, so they got a piece of him. Him, a piece of him, him. okay, him. for what they want. The men been doing it for centuries, so I get it. I think it's switching mm. now. Women are players now. Mm -hmm. Women are playing the game that men been playing for years. Mm -hmm. Men been playing, so women are multi-dating. They don't care. A lot of women are very they're professional and, and ver very verbal about it. Yeah, they, they, they don't care. Because we mm -hmm. used to, we didn't talk about that. I look now, they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah that there's classes yeah. on how to multi-date. Oh wow! Hey, Nicole Cromwell, thank you for joining us. I thank appreciate you. it. Thank you. Thank you. You were in you. like for the perfect timing now because we only got about a good like less than fifteen minutes left so yo mm -hmm. keep looking thank you everybody for joining us but oh, oh, yes. there's the phone who that is talk show divas of Atlanta who are we speaking to nobody uh, this is Rob oh, oh hey Rob what's up doing? Rob thank you for watching got a question for the divas yeah um so um, my question is, um, well, we got we were talking about the. Uh, oh wow, it's weird. I can I can hear like a echo. You gotta turn your uh, wherever you're watching down. Okay. All right. Um, <clears throat> so you guys were talking about that, um, and I, I was calling in to see if you guys uh, thought it would be a different approach when you uh, somebody uh, you have kids. Okay. Or do you think the approach should be different? So your question is, do you think the dating, uh, how, okay, if you have kids, you should date differently? Yeah. Yes, you should date differently because you got to put your kids first. Sure. You can't bring anyone around your child because one thing that people put on the front before, you know, it, it, with you for six months to a year, mm -hmm. they put on this facade and thinking uh, that they're a great person and then you start turning the pages and we you see they are like that, but you call it a facade because i was always the one who said it's not a facade you just getting to know me so yeah. the first few months that's good you're that's always true. putting on your best foot but but six months later i'm the same exact person you just know more so, so i more never intricate ever parts. dealt with the facade part okay. i'm like no but how i am on day one nigga, i'm not gonna be that way on but see day that's day. how we are so it's not we're, a facade yeah. it's really but that's how we are we're all and raw and we, we're right. the same throughout because right. like to start out just like you know, somebody who actually just straight up fooled you. Like, I mean, well, those are the married dudes. But I mean, you know. <laughs> All of them. So, sir, so uh, Robert, right? That's your name, right? So you don't date, you don't bring any woman around your child no, until you really get to. 
no one, but people do things differently. I'm not saying my way is right way or whatever, mm -hmm. but you don't want you want to get to know a person. You don't know they are a predator. You don't know if they even love kids or they just put them right. in front because they want you. Or your you kid have to might be very up with careful. Yes. And I tell everybody, That's do a so background true. check. It's so easy. Do it. You can buy. You can get do it's online so easy. now. You can do a background check and find out. Ninety nine cent. Oh, look, I need that. Ninety nine cent. Ninety nine cent. <laughs> Make sure you cancel before they charge you that hey, fee. I agree. Do, take a background do a background check. check. Everybody needs to do a background check. Because you can find out a lot. Yeah. Because when, when and I'm not going to, hey, I'm got to go there. Women put on front. Yes. They front until, because they want, you might be, I don't know what you're looking like, what you got going on, but I know women put on front. They don't really like your kid. They just want you. <laughs> that's true. So if that's you want very someone true. that's long standing, you want it, you're going to get to know the woman and don't bring them around your kids at all until the first, I say the first uh, mm -hmm. year. For, I agree. I, I, the first year, because within that year, a person going to show who they are. Mm -hmm. And people, like I said, people put up. You ain't going to Yeah, you all know. You don't want to damage your child, and right. then they go through and get attached to the person. Then mm -hmm. you have, you're forced to be with that individual because your child likes the person. So just be very well, careful right. out here do, dating. Do you think that they would be forced to do that though? Oh yeah. Do you think that that would play a, a bigger factor in, in we're not compatible? So if a woman, let me let me say this. I'm, gonna say I'm not compatible with anybody with young kids. I let I put that out there right there. Do your kid got a driver's license? No. All right, call me later. <laughs> yeah, but see, a lot of women that are. I'm fortunate enough to, to be with the person that have had my kids. Okay, that's so great. there you go. That, that's great, but women do put on a front because you a, a man might be fine as wine and got it going on, got a lot going on for him, and they're gonna put a front up. I'm yes. gonna, I, I'm sorry, ladies, I gotta tell the truth because women and men could be just a phony, and pe a men could put a front up. They it's have so, so much baggage and so much and everybody got baggage especially you're dating later in life right but they put up a front and mm -hmm. they everybody do the same thing so mm -hmm. women have to be careful with even single fathers you don't just put women around your child you can't do that honey can't, can't i can that. tell you the story because i was a product of that right mm -hmm. so right of my dad getting someone that he didn't know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and she was but she was a predator see that's right. what i'm saying yeah back to what you were saying and you don't know because you wouldn't even think because right. they're normally used to the men so yeah. exactly predator she was a predator ways, and yeah. she you know i went through the whole gamut <laughs> yeah. of trauma mm -hmm. yeah uh, family trauma mm -hmm. with that. So I would agree with you 100%. Yes, you date differently when you have small kids. Definitely. We all agree. Yeah. The divas agree. Yes. We agree. So did we mm -hmm. answer your question? Oh, yeah, most definitely. Um, yeah. This is my first time tuning in, but I definitely will be tuned in to you guys. Uh, thank you so much for your time, ladies, and, and good luck. And much thank, you. Right, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate thank you. you, Rob. Thank and you. also, I want to say what's up. Thank you, Debbie, Zachary Hi, Debbie. Edwards, for joining. We appreciate you. And Nicole said, I actually wouldn't mind being in a throuple right now. Whoa. She wants to be a couple's girlfriend. Okay, let's talk about that. <laughs> let's talk about that. Do we have that. enough time? A <laughs> couple's <laughs> girlfriend. So would that be like sister wives? Yes. Okay. Yes. Nicole, now this was your comment, so feel free to ring that number. What's the yes, number? Yeah, what's your ringing number? Yeah, because I'm... Four I seven, love, go ahead. Sorry. sorry. 470, Nicole, 251 -4707. Please call us in and let's talk about this. That's a very, very good subject. Yeah, so look, yes. we wait for Nicole to call us. Let me just see what Brian says. He says... Sorry to make this kind of Brian. You're using big words. I don't really know what that last. That's a gist. A j a j. Anyway, but this young generation is all about instant gratification. That's true. Oh, the young yeah. men in general are all show and no go, and the mm. women are very, very aggressive, even for older guys. Wow. Result: Men are getting whatever they want, basically causing them to have high early expectations of sex. Brian, we need him as a guest. You want to come on the show? You yeah, come, on, the come show. on in. Give us what? a uh, matter of fact. Give us a call near four Talk seven to Brian, zero. Hello. Call us in. Oh, and Nikki says she bisexual and she's still coughing because she's getting over COVID, so she can't call us. All right, we're not laughing at you. Get we better. Get better, please. But thank you for tuning in. Yes, and that was a great question. I mean, we can still talk about it. Yeah. But yeah. So she wants to be part of a throuple. Four seven zero two five nine four seven zero seven. Call us in so we can discuss yes, this. Yes, we're winding I'm, I'm, down, ladies. We only got like five minutes or okay. so left. Okay, okay. So I've never heard of a throuple. Let me just say that. Well, can you spell that for me? A throuple is. Oh, so it's oh. throuple. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, look at. Oh my gosh! Did everybody not know? I that? have <laughs> learned <laughs> something new today. <laughs> throuple. And clubhouse. Yeah, and clubhouse. Yes. <laughs> I'm starting to feel like. 
No, that's y'all. Y'all just green as hell. <laughs> yeah. Because you are up on it, honey. This is our social media guru over I'm here, Dana. Saying, you know, I be bored. <laughs> Well, we, we'll be, down. We'll do your, um, yeah, well, so I think we got like maybe four or five more minutes because that literally needs to be the very last thing we talk about. So mm -hmm. I do want to say with the whole throuple thing, you can actually find that on those dating apps because I did a 30 day, <laughs> I did a 30 day trial because again, I don't get the patience like you guys because it's like as a woman, you're going to get hundreds of options and you got to yeah. weed through the hundred that you want to talk to. Then mm -hmm. you got to weed through the, and I, I don't have the patience, mm -hmm. but they do have like, they do have profiles where they're looking like couple looking for wow. a girlfriend so is it like michael bazin um where he got as far as get, no i guess not because they're looking for a girlfriend they're looking for, uh, to have another female to the husband and wife right. yeah, okay it's couple. not like okay okay I'll that's just, a couple, couple. <laughs> You know, and, and again, she said she's bisexual, so she loves it because she's getting the gratification oh, she's getting of the woman both. and then the okay. man. We that gonna makes have sense. A lot more discussion because oh, we, yeah. we, we mm -hmm. talked about on our chat as far as about. I want Brian as a guest when we come back. Brian, yeah. give us a, send a message in our in, a, in our uh, Facebook uh, talk show divas of, on, of Atlanta. Send us a message how we can contact you and you'll be a guest on our show. Um, we got a lot to talk about root relationships. Even mm -hmm. when it was something that I just lost my thought. Uh -oh. But uh, <laughs> look, I'd be scared when her little eyes twinkle like that. <laughs> <laughs> but I hope you guys really out there enjoying your dating. If you're out there dating, just be safe, protect mm -hmm. yourself, get ask questions. Don't just be out there dating because people are doing. Results. People are doing yes. a lot of things. Don't just 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 have sex. Just be having sex. And yes. it's okay to ask now. Are you multi dating? Since that's right. the thing. Or, right. Now that that's makes actually, a difference because yeah. you have that gives you the opportunity right. to see right. if you want to be a part of that. Apparently, that's everybody's true. like, yes, I am, and you too. But and, and we're yeah. the weirdos. So that, that is great. <laughs> People need. They don't ask questions. They gotta ask. That's are you bisexual? Yes. Right. Uh, are, are you HIV positive? Mm -hmm. To ask. Do you assume or once you fall in love with the person? And then if all these things come up, then you get upset. Yeah. Well, you didn't ask in the you beginning. Didn't, you mm -hmm. can't do that, but blame mm -hmm. yourself. Yes. You have and to And I'm sorry, we in Atlanta. We are the talk show divas of Atlanta. Atlanta. I have to say, are you gay? I mean, and even yeah. though they can still lie, I still be looking at how to answer. Right. <laughs> right, right, right. That tells that's a lot. That's another topic we're going to talk about, people mm. that's on the down low. Why don't you tell the truth about your sexuality? Just mm. be real. But a lot of people don't do that. It's just it, dating scene is really bad out here. I think mm -hmm. actually the people. next show probably needs to just be all about relationships, dating, and sex. Yeah, we you know, we got a lot to talk about. Yeah, we have lot. hygiene. We have so many topics. So, oh, you yeah. ain't seen the we, book. we 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 have <laughs> topics galore to talk right. to you guys about. Just like I said, we're doing a pop up show. We're going to put everything together, and we're going to be back every or uh, every other week. Yes. for you guys so we got to make the decision and we'll make the decision but yeah. in the meantime check our um facebook page check our clubhouse page we're going to make and before we get to the final Instagram. final segment which will be a tribute mm -hmm. i want to say thank you to everyone who tuned in and actually thank talked you. and even though you were here and didn't say anything we appreciate you too but thank april you. wilkerson we so thank, thank you, you. thank you thank nisi nanya shira johnson thank we, you rob new thank you also for calling in tangy brent um we thank you rob again uh uh, uh, there was somebody else. Nicole Cromwell, thank you thank so much. You. Jamil Shelton, I don't even remember if I said your name, but thank you so thank much. You so thank much. you, thank you. Um, we have Brian, of course, Brian Lavelle, thank you so much. Thank Al you. Fatboy Wooly, um, all right, and Debbie Zachary Edwards, we love you. Thank, we thank you. you, we um, love you. We only thank have you. a couple minutes left. If you guys have anything closing to say, I'll kind of introduce what y'all hope we're ready for. Okay, we're going to close it out. We have a tribute to uh, Dana, our, our talk show, Dana, um, beloved uh, Bentley, passed away uh, a few days ago, and we want to do a tribute to him. We, we give our condolences to you. We love you. We love you, Dana. You know, we're here for you. I love, love them you. so much. They were going to postpone a show because we they didn't know how I'd hold it together, and I said, just don't talk about it yep. <laughs> to the very end, yeah. yes. and I'll yeah. be able to hold it together, and I drank yeah. a little extra wine, yeah. Yeah. but I did say I do want to honor him with the tribute because if anyone is a, a pet lover, they know they are literally one of your yeah. children, 12 mm -hmm. years. So if we can do the uh, the tribute that I put together, and I just want to say again, thank you, goodbye. Thank you. Thank look, you. Our, look at our page for the next date that we come back. Yes. And thank you, you, Status guys. Network. Jazz, yes. JoJo, like we appreciate y'all. Thank, thank you, my thank little you. sister who's about to cry now, and we thank didn't even you. show the video yet. <laughs> All right, sign it off. Bye.
Look at his mouth, it's all open. <laughs>